couple days ago, I was doing a fish room update out here in Garage Aquatics 2023 World Headquarters. And I was showing you this tank, and it was pretty cloudy. Uh, I had uh, an Aquion, no, what do they call it? AquaClear um, 70 on each end of this tank. Well, I just took the one off, off of this end, and it, look at how much the tank's cleared up. Let's go see the other, the other end. So here's the aqua clear. I'm in really tight quarters right here between uh, the two racks. One behind me is all storage. And you can see the pre-filter I put on it. Uh, it's full of the Dr Blue Dream shrimp and it's picked up a lot of bits of uh, floating guppy grass, etc. So I will take that pre-filter off first. And the way I do it, Ziploc bag, stick the hand inside push it down, flood the bag, try and get the hand back out. That's always fun. And then wrap this around. I don't even worry about the shrimp on there. Wrap this around the back side of the bag. There we go. A lot of the shrimp scatter, All right? Okay, so now that's like that. And then what I'm gonna do, pull the plug. There, the plug is, is out, so I've shut it off. So when you don't pull the plug first, and you try and go after it, you've broken the suction, and everything just sort of drifts off. So that's why I pull the plug first. I'm sorry, that's why I bag it first, and then pull the plug. So all that stuff, as it drifts off, it stays in the bag. I'm gonna go plug this one back in. And then I'm gonna pick up this. No, but first I take that back. I'm gonna detach the, uh, the pickup tube or the intake, right? And uh, set it aside because I don't want the filter to come out just yet. All right. I'm just gonna hang that right there for right now. And uh, so I want to keep as much of the muck in that Ziploc as possible. Okay. And then now, it's so much easier with two hands, uh, I'm going to pull up the pickup tube, leaving the, the pre-filter behind. Oh, not too bad, huh? Kept most of it. All right. And then I got the uh, Ziploc. And there's guppies in there probably, because there were last time. And there's also, yeah, there's guppies in there. And there's a lot of shrimp. So that's going to go into this two-gallon bucket. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll dump that. Uh, but that's going to take two hands. So I will get back to you on that one. But in the meantime, you see how much clearer this tank is. And it picked up a lot of the, a lot of the detritus that was on, on the, the sand. I think it's this is pool sand. Um, and I got... You know, there's still guppy grass that's tucked down in here um, amongst uh, that Amazon sword. And, uh, and these java ferns are glued to rocks and there's a little crypt. There's a couple little crypts. There's this one here. And God, I'll be damned if I remember what that's called. It was, uh, uh, was it linearis, cryptocorian linearis? Maybe it's a long slender leaf and it gets a lot taller, but there's no substrate in this other than sand. So that makes it a little tougher for, uh, uh, for it to, you know, really, really anchor itself and grow. And same thing with these little crypt Um And the one thing to do, and, and I don't know if I've done it with that sword over there, put in a, a, a root tab, you know, and I use the API root tabs. A lot of times I'll bust them in quarters and just shove a small piece in uh, and then, you know, uh, do that just more often. And, and that seems to work well. So let me dump the, uh, dump the water into the bucket and we'll see what comes out. So I put you on the tripod so I can share this with you. And if it becomes a fiasco, you get to see it. But grab a, one end of the bag and carefully dump the whole thing out. This time I got it all. A lot of, the last time there was a bunch of sediment stuck in this corner. Uh, check the bag. Make sure there's no little stragglers. And they're all in here. And I've got this pre-filter. There's nobody attached to it. So that'll just go in another bucket of water and I'll rinse that out, get most of the muck out of it, and that muck will uh, end up going in the houseplants. That stuff's great for feeding houseplants. And then I'll, I'll 
continue cleaning this out really well under the sink before I just set it aside for now. Um, so now what I'm gonna do, my trusty little shrimp net, is go for these guys. Maybe get a guppy. There's a guppy. And that's one of those red tuxedo guppies. So what I'm gonna do is catch the rest of these out. You guys can figure that part out. But what I will do is edit out that other video and put the the before with the two uh, AquaClear 70s hanging on this so you can see just how cloudy it really was. So it looks like I got everybody. And the cat's acknowledging that. So there we are. So it's, I put a little of the muck back in netting these guys out. I guess I could have done two or three nets, net them into some cleaner water and then net them out of that until there was nothing left, kind of titrate them, I guess. Uh, but I'm not too worried about that. This tank is way better than it was. So there you go. So, you know, like I always say, I appreciate you watching. Um, appreciate your comments. And I just appreciate you. So as always, thanks for looking.